in this video we will learn how to sort aggregated fields in ssrs so let's get started all right so we have our report that we had created in the previous session i have deleted that uh, table that was not properly grouped and so we are working on this so let me just run and show you so this is how the data comes now you would notice that your data is not sorted it's actually running from how it has been set up in your database however if you would want to sort this you could sort it by the department but you will not be able to sort this from here so how do we go about it now let's go back to design document let me show you what i mean so if i want to sort this if i go to the group properties if i go to sorting i can add a sorting but you will notice i cannot add a sorting on the account so if i go and add a sorting on the department if i run the report you would see that this is sorted but how do i sort this this is actually summarized by the count so first things first it is very important to note that you cannot sort an aggregated field in your tablex properties there is a big no no you would get an error when you're doing that in order to sort aggregated fields or in other words aggregated fields can be sorted under or only under the grouping properties so if i go to the grouping properties of this and if i go to the sorting since i'm not able to select it from my data set what i'll do is i'm going to go to the expression field by clicking on the fx so if i click on the fx it will take me to this expression field i'm going to enter the same expression in this case it was the count of employee code so i'm going to remove this i'm going to put um, the employee code the field that i wanted and in the beginning i'm going to put the count expression so just to give you uh, another scenario i'll just copy this and so this is the expression I would use. If you have your sum in that aggregated uh, function, then you'll put sum over here. Click on OK, click on OK, and now you run the report. So when you run the report, you will see it's aggregated by default from the lowest to the highest. Now, let me show you why I meant you should not be using aggregated fields in your tablet properties. So if I show you this by doing so, so let me just go here and delete this and go here click on sorting add a sorting and use an expression and now if i run this you would get an error so there you have it aggregated functions cannot be used in data row sort expression so you cannot use this under the tablox properties it can only be used under the grouping properties of it so now if i want to apply interactive sorting on my aggregated field how do we do that so we all know in order to apply interactive sorted will sorting we will go to the field header we'll right click on it and we'll go we will go on to its text box properties another text box property will go on to the sorting this is the same procedure you would follow in order to set up an interactive sorting onto an aggregated field. However, there's just going to be some minor changes to it. So you will click onto this to enable interactive sorting. Instead of selecting the detailed rows, you would select the group. And inside the group, you would select the name of this group. Once you have selected the group, you will go onto the sort by option. And you will still notice that there's no option available to do that. However, you're going to click on the expression of option, which is the FX button, and you'll apply the same expression over here. So in this case, I'm going to put count and break it to the employee code. And I'm going to close that. Click on OK, click on OK, and run the report. When you run the report, you see your interactive sorting is applied. So I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. If so, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Thank you.